what's up? It's Andy Fogarty here from the At Home Welder again, and I'm here for KingMetals.com. And today, in our Back to Basics welding series, we're going to go over how to set your speeds of any MIG welder and why bacon, yes, bacon, has a powerful part in that process. The problem that a lot of people have is unless they have all this stuff memorized for every different machine and every different type of material, it's hard to know exactly what settings are right. Now usually, your settings between different machines, they're not going to vary that much, but they do still vary. Um, you know, different materials that you're using, the thicknesses, uh, different types of material, uh, different types of wire, different types of gases, all these things play a huge role in what the settings on your welder need to be. Now, what I'm going to show you today is how you can use your ear to listen to how the weld is, is going to know if it, your settings are right or not. And this way you can, it doesn't matter what machine you're using or what kind of materials you're using, you will be able to hear whether or not your weld is good because that sound is going to be the same no matter what you're doing. Now I'm using a little Miller 110 here, this is my, my favorite machine of all. And I have two settings, wire speed and voltage. Now sometimes you're going to hear a lot of people say you need to control your amperage. Well, you notice this machine doesn't have a setting for amperage and a lot of these smaller machines like this don't. All they have is voltage and wire speed. Now default, by default, when you're changing your wire speed and your voltage, that's automatically going to change the amperage. The machine kind of does that for you. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you three different speeds. And that way you'll be able to tell right away how you need to adjust your welding when you hear these different sounds. The key is before you do any of this is to have a piece of scrap uh, that's the same, same type of material, same thickness and everything that you're going to be working on. Now the goal is to have this sound like sizzling bacon, like bacon sizzling in a pan or a skillet. Now it's going to sound like a lot of bacon, but it's supposed to have that nice fluid sizzle sound. And uh, you're going to hear what that means, that sounds like here in just a second. Okay, so to start off with, I'm going to keep my speed uh, kind of slow because I don't know where I'm starting again. So I'm going to start somewhere around, you know, 30 or 40, somewhere around there, and we're going to see what happens with that. Alright, see that's a terrible, terrible weld. You could hear how it had that popping sound, it just sounded like it was going back up into the gun, which it was. And there's actually some pinholes in these welds and it just didn't penetrate at all. Just, just not good, not good enough at all. Alright, so you can see that didn't really do anything at all. It was just melting back up into the cup. It was, you know, it, if we would have kept doing that, it would have gummed up our tip. We'd have to replace it, pull the wire out. It, it just, it was a mess. It wasn't doing anything. So we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the speed up and see what happens when we turn the speed you know, way up because that was obviously way too low. So that's when the speed turned up a bit and you, you could still hear the popping. You could still hear it, it, it was popping and I could feel it a lot in the gun. And also, I mean, you could just look at the weld. It's just, it's just not good. It's, there's a lot more weld because we had a lot more material coming out a lot faster and all it did really was just sort of build up and you know make this shape here. Okay, that obviously wasn't doing very much either. I mean obviously we were getting a lot of material out and there was some a lot of weld going on but it still wasn't a good weld. There was just too much going on. We definitely had to clean it and it probably wouldn't have been that great. So, now we're going to turn this down, we're going to find somewhere in the happy middle and, and see what that sounds like. i got a feeling that's going to give us that bacon sizzling sound and that's what you're going to want to go for. So we're going to turn this somewhere in the middle, somewhere eh, between 50 and 60 I think. So that's the one right there. Did you hear that consistent? It, it was a very strong sizzling sound, but it was a, it was a consistent sizzle. There wasn't any popping. There wasn't any. It wasn't going back up into the gun. It was it was just beautiful. And our weld is a lot nicer. And you can actually see, nice smooth, penetrated. It's good stuff. 
All right, so there you go. I gave you some great examples of, of what to listen for and what, that, what those sounds mean, whether you're, you're running too slow, too fast, too hot. But, and now, in my case, you know, my settings were, were kind of in the middle of everything, but that doesn't mean it's going to be the case for you. The case, it's going to change depending on the material and the machines and the gases that you're using. The key is to listen for that sound, that consistent, no popping, nice sizzle sound, that strong sizzling sound, and keep it nice and smooth. That's it for this That's episode. You... I hope that answers your questions and I hope that makes things a lot easier for you in the future. Now if you have any questions about anything at all that has to do with welding, design, anything like that, please feel free to ask them in the comments below and we will try to answer them as soon as we can in an upcoming episode. Now if you want more great tips and tricks like this, come on over to the ethomewelder.com, sign up for MIG Welding 101. It's going to give you the five basic cornerstone techniques of MIG welding. But more than that, it's going to sign you up for weekly tips and tricks on how to speed up the process, make things a lot easier for you, and also how to make some good money doing this welding stuff on the side. It's a lot of fun and a great way to get paid. So I'm Andy Fogarty, and I will see you again next time.